Hey guys, welcome to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are super excited for today's video. I thought you were gonna say we're the sorry girls. And we're the sorry girls. And we're the Murdoch twins. Although we're not twins. We're no. four years apart. Which one's older? Comment down below. Because I said that, it's almost as if yeah. I was the older one. Yeah. I'm like, oh. We're super excited because today is part four of our Christmas candy trying videos. Yeah, we've had some really epic Christmas boxes sent to us by yeah. our awesome subscribers. And this one really is the mother load. It is all of it. Should we start with the card? Yeah, lovely card. Hi Kate and Alex, I hope that you are well. Sorry about this. I think that I went a bit overboard and in all honesty, there were a few things I wanted to send you that were not out yet. <laughs> Really? Kate, sorry about the mint. It would seem that to make something Christmassy, you add mint and put snowflakes <laughs> on the package. That's so true. Yeah. Or turn it red. Yeah. Don't worry, because I and actually green. like some mint things. So we'll see how it goes. Hope that these are things that you will enjoy despite all the mint. I can't say that these are the things I love. Some are family traditions or the things we buy every year. I normally don't buy much, but do more baking. Hope this a close second to homemade. Oh yeah. Hope it makes you smile and you enjoy it even half so much as I did putting it all together. That's, oh, that's so nice. nice. So thank you so much, Brooke. This is just absolutely incredible. So we have so much. I don't even know where to start. I'm really intrigued to try these. <laughs> I love that kind of thing. These are JR Dippers, cheese dip and breadsticks. Now sometimes these, the cheese in this are really good. Here we go. Here but we then go. sometimes it's not so great, is it? So I wonder, that's a good thing, it's like, we might like some of the things you don't like. Like when Mike sent us some things, he was like, oh, I don't like these, but we're actually like, I really like those. Yeah, and if Mike's watching, I do know who you are. That was just, I was having, I'm um, like 10 second Tom out of that film. 50 first dates. Yeah. <laughs> these, you just caught me off guard. I was like, what? I did catch you off guard, really. These are really great breadsticks. Mm. They look great, don't they? In this they? case, I look Is great. it like nacho cheese, do you think? Mm. Oh. I think it's that American thing where the bread is kind of sweet. Yeah. The cheese sauce is that kind of cheese sauce you shouldn't like, but mm. it's just so good. Like American cheese on mm. burger, but like melted. Mm. Mm. Fine, I'm gonna have one more. The cheese, when it's all in your mouth, it almost does taste like a goldfish. Mm. Have you, I wonder, I've never seen these, but I'm probably not looking out for these in America. I wonder if these are big, you know, in every state. Well, they're probably this size in all states. Because we used to have like Philadelphia dip things. I feel like, like I'm on football camp when I was in primary school, which is our youngest school. Really? Yeah, I used to have things like this. In they're, my little lunchbox thing. Those things are made for kids, mm. but they're so great, aren't they? Like a Lunchable. Someone mm. a agreed with our comment and said, Lunchables are great for adults yeah. as well. <gasps> they're the other tech mix. Corn nuts. Should we tell the story on this? Well, I yeah. actually love corn nuts, looking at this photo, but I didn't realize they were called corn nuts. Because I've had these when we've been to Spain. Yeah. And um, they're so well, good. first of all, we had they're them- They're like deep fried kernels. First of all, we had them at the Coco screening mm. premiere. But in Heather's The Musical, which we, um, went to see in the West End twice because Kate got it for my birthday so we went once and then it was so good and it was closing the next week so we went again Under and it was a so week good. Later. And they're always saying about corn nuts corn but nuts. I never realized corn nuts were these deep fried corn kernels. I really like the packaging. Mm. I feel like oh this flavor is original. I wonder if they have different flavors. I feel like this is original branding, do you not mm. think? And then after this we're going to try savory Chex mix in the flavor cheddar. Now in our second oh. Christmas candy box, was it, or third? We tried Czech Mix Bold. Bold. And I saw in the back that there was a cheddar flavor, so how cool that we've got another flavor. Yeah, and I saw there was a turtle flavor as well. Yeah, sweet. And then we're Ooh. going to be trying H.K. Anderson Peanut Butter Filled Pretzel Nuggets. They sound amazing. We've had something kind of like that, haven't we? Yeah. And do let us know, have if you- If you've seen the Heathers. <laughs> I was gonna say, do let us know if you have had any of these things before. Yeah. Oh, it feels warm in there. Is that from your hands? <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe I've been stupid. Is mm. this sweet corn? Mm. Popcorn? Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Mm. Just like corn on the cob. Deep fried, I think. That'd mm. go great with the beer. Mm. Not for me, though, Alex. Perfect little saltiness. What are you scoring those both? Oh yeah. I think the little dippers have got to actually have an eight. <laughs> I was gonna say eight. They're well. really good. I wish I wasn't saying that, but I am. Those corn nuts, eight and a half. These corn nuts, probably an eight as well. I've had better ones. Mm. I do like yeah, the flavors though. Okay. Oh, I like the flavor. 
The thing is, I say I've had better ones. They're probably just saltier. Yeah, he's got triangles. If you've had check, check mix, what are your favorite flavors? Turtle. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I like that cheddar. Because the cheddar's really good, isn't it? And what's great is there's different layers of crunch. Mm. Like one's got like quite a, a breaking crunch. It, one's bready. And like a soft crunch. Mmm. Mm. My favorite things in these are the little parcels. Mm. Mm. You know they say about like in fancy cooking, like Michelin star stuff, they're saying about the different layers of textures and things like that. Because these have so many different layers. Layers, and they're all layers of crunch. I can't decide if I prefer these or the bold ones. I really like the bold I ones, I but these. I think these might just top them. Mm. They're a nine. Are you going 10? I think it needs to be a 10 for me. No, I want to try the rest. So good. Really good. That's so good, I'm going to clap it. Now, really for savoury, I think these two, although that's not really Oh, these good. are very similar to the other yeah, versions of this. because these are called snap mix and they are snap mix. I don't think these are going to be as strong in flavour. These are just going to no. be like a classic snack mix. They've almost got the same makeup. The strong kind of bready salt, bit, the, the pretzels. These look like Like the, a little um, baguette. I didn't see those in the cheddar ones. Are these switched out for the triangles? I think so, yeah. Oh, mm. these have got good flavour though. Mm. That's mm. almost mm. like Worcester sauce. Mm. Can you try that on its own? No. That's nice. I know it's bad, but I wasn't expecting these to be as good, probably because the packaging's not as mm. bold. But this is quality since 1932. So it's obviously like a family run. Mm. Oh, we should crack that Sprite mm. while we're... Yeah. We've got lemon, lime, and cranberry-flavoured soda. Quite often with these flavoured drinks, I just think the classic ones are best. Yeah. But actually, cranberry, cranberry and Sprite... Cranberry sounds great. I think that could be good. And it's still got, like, the lemon and lime. Mm. It's not really strong, but it's good. I'm not a massive oh, yeah. fizzy drink drinker, but when I do, and when I when I did used to drink a lot of fizzy drinks, it was Sprite all day for me and Fanta, and that is so good. Yeah, that's really refreshing. You're not gonna drink that and think, oh, my teeth are coming out. You know, like sometimes mm. when you get the drinks that are raspberry flavored, yeah. like more the Fantas, aren't they, that feel really sugary. That's really good. It's just got a subtle hint of cranberry, but it's enough there. Mm. That almost more tastes like a cranberry flavoured water, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, should we do this one? Yep. What's that? Verner's, the original ginger soda. So what's the difference between ginger soda and ginger beer? Yeah, it's the same kind of thing, really. These are chilli cheese. Mm. Mm. They do taste like... These are like, like nachos. Nachos with chilli. Yeah. Chilli and cheese on top. Oh, pretty good. Mmm. Even though that says chili cheese, it's not spicy. It's just got a nice flavour to it, a spiced flavour, but not spiced. I really like those Fritos. These crusts are so heavy, it's knocking this whole thing mm. over. I really like Sprite Cranberry. Okay, so those Fritos, I'm giving a 9 out of 10. Those Czech Mix, I'm giving 9. And those other ones here, I'm probably giving a 7.5. Yeah, I'm going 9, 9, 8 for the Fritos. Not as sure on these. Okay, and then these are the UTZs again, or Oots, Oots, Oots. Uts. Go on, you Uts. Come these, on, the Uts. These are white cheddar cheese snowballs. I'm made just with interested real to cheese. see what they're actually going to look like mm. on the inside. We had sour cream and onion in our last video from this brand. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, they actually back. are white. Very white. I wasn't expecting them to be that white. They've been like very bleached, haven't they? Snowballs. Snowball fight. <laughs> Put you in the jugular. Mmm. Not a lot of flavour. You know what I think? No. It's that white cheddar flavour. Mm. But it's more um It's more like on a certain it's level. It's more of a stronger white cheddar, more like you know how blue cheese is stronger. Mm. Don't get me wrong, they're good. But compared to the white cheddar Cheetos, I'm gonna say these are a seven. Oh yeah. Not definitely not as good as the Cheetos. So try some ginger soda? Yeah. I Pop love the bottle. I'll open these. Oh, wait, this one. Pure Michigan, the original ginger soda. And I'll open these to accompany it. Mm. Like a little parcel. If you're in America, do you rather drink ginger beer, ginger soda, or ginger ale? I forgot these were peanut butter filled. I was really? thinking, as I opened it, I was like, these are nutty. That's strange. Okay. I, I can't remember 
if it's just the UK that sell iron brew. But this has a taste of iron brew. Mm -hmm. mm. I All feel right. like this is what people put in the Harry Potter drink to mm. make, you know, to make it taste like Harry Potter. Possibly. I like that. Every time I'm in America, I see it sells like ginger beer and root beer and things. Oh, root beer is a different one, isn't it? Yeah. I always want to go for it, but I always feel like it's such a waste if I don't like it. That's interesting, because our ginger beer, ginger ale here, doesn't taste like that. No. But you know, like you're saying about the... Iron brew. Iron brew. It, this one does have that iron brewy flavour. How strange. We've not heard of no. iron brew. It's like an orange... Iron brew. Orange drink. Scottish. Orange brownie drink. Mmm. Mm. I'm giving Have the... you tried these? No, not yet. I'm giving the Cranberry Sprite an 8 out of 10. This a 9 out of 10. I really, really like that. I'm going to go the other way around. Sprite's a 9 out of 10. I don't get a lot from these because they're just... Pretzels are dry and peanut butter's dry. Mm. There's no saltiness to it, really, from the pretzel or the, or the peanut butter. They're just kind of bland and that's boring. So. I really like the packaging. The packaging's great, but it's not enough. I just think they're about a four. I think they're about a five, yeah. Should we do popcorn? Because it's near, near yeah. ish or not. So this is Wonder Shop at Target. Hmm. Salted caramel popcorn. This is a great little um, like stocking stuffer, isn't it? Mm. Put your hands up. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. The popcorn's nice. a bit polystyrene for me. A lot mm. of popcorn is like that, though. And the salted caramel isn't. I wouldn't say it's salted, but actually, I prefer this to the butter kiss. I don't. I think the butter kiss are way too strong. I don't. We're two very different people, Kate, mm. from very different places. Don't get me wrong, if I was at the cinema, I'd eat them. I thought they were not too bad. I'd I'm probably okay. give them a seven. Now, this is actually um, one of the ones she said is a family tradition ribbon candy, thin peppermint. Do you want to try this now? Yeah, or? sounds good. Don't see why not. Just because I was going to work my way to the cake. She's bought us a lot of cakes. I did not realise they're Little Debbie's. Mum, what are you doing doing all the... I don't know how Mum has a normal job and she has time to make all these cakes in America. She's amazing. For those of you that don't know, our mum is called Debbie and she's little. <laughs> she's five foot one. And her feet size are 12 and a half and one, which to Americans, that does not mean anything. No. UK, 12 and a half, which is tiny. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, they oh, are hard. my word. I didn't expect that to be hard. Because it looks like you could just pull it apart, but you can't. So is that what you do? You just like break some off? I think so. There's something there that I'll grab. Mm. What's nice about this is when it comes to candy canes, you're having to lick for ages because it's really mm. thick. Whereas with this, because it's so thin, you can just bite it. Yeah. It's done all the work for you. Okay, so we had three uh, Little Debbies. Cherry cordials, eggnog cake rolls. Interesting. <laughs> Christmas tree cake, cinnamon cloves, and nutmeg holiday spice. Oh, you're giving us a whole load. The whole kit and caboodle. Here you go. Mmm, cinnamony. Reminds me of being in an American hotel mm. with the breakfast. Because there's like breakfast. cinnamon muffins and things like oh, that. I think you're about to say the cinnamon muffins. Mm. That tastes like the cinnamon muffins. This is really good because it's got a nice light bit of icing. But considering it comes in a packet and it's wrapped it's in plastic, fresh. it tastes fresh. Mm. It's quite moist. It's got a nice little layer of icing on, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. A little bit of crunch from those things. And it's good. I think it needs that icing though, don't you think? Yeah. You I'll both do. opened these wrong because look, that had a little pebble. Oh, yeah. A little who? Pebble. These were not what oh, I was expecting. It's like little moon pies. Do you want to go first? You'll have more dark chocolate on one. This one's a lot drier. Mm, much drier. There's some cherry flavours I quite like. And that one I don't. I'm not really enjoying that cherry. I'm not sure about dark chocolate and cherry. No. It's a bit um, Black Forest Gatto for me. I would say my favourite was the Christmas tree, then the eggnog, and then the cherry. Yeah, Christmas tree, eggnog, cherry. Did you know we have some presents? No, Should more we open presents. open some presents? Yeah. These are Alex. It's the fact that they're wrapped up is so exciting. Yeah, that's so cool. How just cute is this paper and wrapping? Oh, oh yes. The peanut butter one. Brooke knows me so well. I got some Mike and Ike. She's got I me some like peanut got... butter M&Ms and she's been listening closely in the videos because I've said on many occasions my favourite M&Ms <coughs> Oh, peanut butter. Oh, the peanut butter ones. I got some Mike and Ike's. And, and also, they're the um, cinema box version. Oh, yeah. I got some Mike and Ike's, and I tried these in the recent video, and I was actually really surprised by the holiday punch. I really like the holiday punch. 
Oh, she hey, knows she me. Knows you really she well. knows me. I think, Brooke, you know me better than Kate does. And some raisinettes. I think she knows me well. Swedish fish! You know Kate better than I know her. I love Swedish fish. And obviously she knows that we've tried like these, yeah. apart from this. Um, she won't know we tried that. So these are obviously ours to enjoy. Yeah, cheers, Brooke. Get you, those on with a little Christmas film. Oh, do you little wanna, Christmas film. Do you want to carry on with Christmas presents? What, you got me something else, Kate? Not you. Brooke has been so sweet and kind. What? She's made just two little stockings. What? She made these? Well, I don't know if she's made them, but I mean, she's put together stockings in this, yeah. even wrapped things in here. And do you have a Pez? You're joking. This is like the best oh, thing ever. Oh my word. And how have we been sent four pairs? Our Christmas collection of pairs is like through the roof now. How have we been sent four pairs and not one duplicate? Maybe all our subscribers are getting together on a secret forum we yeah. don't know about. Thank you so much, Brooke. Cheers. What's butter that? Butterfinger. Butterfinger peanut, peanut butter, butter cups. cups. And I got a giant king size Russell Stover <gasps> marshmallow. So did I. And we really liked that. Look, <laughs> lip pops, lollipops. Oh, is that like the thing Mike sent us? Yeah. You're like one ahead of me. Push Pop push candy pop. topper. That's so cool. Oh, we used to love Push Pops growing up. How are we getting Christmas the same thing tree? out at the same time? He's obviously putting it in at the same time. And are you missing that present? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I know what this is. You know what that is. Hubba Bubble Bubble Tape. Yes. Hubba Bubble but Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. This was always Kate's favourite. What flavour is yours? Mine is um, Awesome Original. Mine is Sour Blue Raspberry. This is awesome. And another little present. A little present. I feel thoroughly spoiled. I do, like, this is like Christmas morning. Melty, Melty Snowman. Melty Santa. What is this? Your putty will show its best magical behavior if you gently and slowly stretch it, knead it, and stretch it again for three to five minutes before use. Shape your own snowman. <laughs> Look. This is so cool. You've got like a design. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. It just starts like that. It's slime. And then you make it into a snowman. And then on my snowman, I've got a hat and arms. <laughs> this is like the best stocking ever. I don't know how old Brooke is. And if you have kids and you give stocking stuffers like oh, this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, I wanna be your child. <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you so much, Brooke. I'm not too sure if we're meant to open it now or on Christmas day, but yeah. we opened it now. How good and how nice. I think we've got some of the best subscribers. We really do. Are these some um, poops? Do you wanna poops. do peeps? Cause we've got two, I oh, believe. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got reindeer peeps. Now, I'm Can't amazed that moose. we've not had duplicates. In our previous box, we had gingerbread peeps. Now this time we've got chocolate mousse flavoured marshmallow reindeer. So these are the peeps that have got the flavour to them. Shall I open these as well at the same yeah. time? Also, well, you can smell that. Look, they're a bit burnt on their back as well. Yeah. A few people have actually said that um, what they like to do with their peeps, because you know we're saying some people like them stale yeah. and some people like them fresh. Loads of people have actually said they like to pop it in the microwave. Well, I think we said this last time, but on the peppermint one, the marshmallow's a little bit more chewy. It was on the delight, the last delight. Mm. Is it chocolatey? Well, you probably should have had that one first. Right, yeah, it does have a chocolate moussey type flavour, doesn't it? Mm. And Brooke was saying, sorry about the mint, but when it comes to peppermint peeps, I really like them. I think it's because it's just got the candy cane to it. I can't believe how much that tastes like chocolate mousse. Mm. And it's a marshmallow. Mm. What one's your favourite out of these? I think the chocolate mousse. Oh, what about some M&Ms? Yeah, why We've not? We've got two packs of M&Ms here. We've got hot cocoa, which I don't think I've tried before. And we've got holiday mint, which I definitely haven't tried before. Like we them. are minty. Really good. I just love the fact that M&Ms in the US come out with like different colored and flavored ones. Mm. Like when I was trying to do loads of baking recipes, they're so cute on Pinterest with the different coloured green and reds. Mm. I didn't These like do. my first one, but when you get more into them, if you like mint like chocolate, the you'll really like these. I think they're fun. So, what are they? Are they just... These are cherry. Do you want cherry me to open them? Cherry canes. And then these are from Hawaiian Punch. These are we, Brock's cocaines. We've got four fruit juicy red, four lemon berry squeeze, four polar blast. I want lemon berry squeeze. Not like really strong cherry. Nice. 
It's nice it's like, um, it's quite a natural one, isn't it? Mm, feel like I'm at a uh, fun fair. Mm, lemon berry squeeze. Mm. Really nice. Is that what it is? I think these are great because not everyone likes mm, the peppermint ones. The peppermint candy canes. And these are still festive colours, so you can still hand these out. Mm. I really like the lemon berry squeeze. Mm. That good, that. I just want sweet stuff, so we try these dum dums. Yeah. So these are dum dum up to eight limited edition flavours and the mystery flavour. Um, I think apple cider. I'm interested to see what that is. that is. But I think their apple cider is like different to what we call apple cider. Yeah. Oh look, this is called Santa's mystery flavour. So I'll try this. Watermelon. What's that like? Hmm. It's appley. I wouldn't say it's apple cider, but it was appley. I'm pretty sure that's just watermelon. I really <laughs> wanted to try a sugar cookie. Mm, I just love watermelon things. Oh my word. Mm. You like that? Sugar cookie is delicious. I really like these dum dums. Mm. What the flavours I've tried so far, they're delicious. And these are caramelly and like it, delicious. It tastes like a caramel mm. lollipop. It tastes almost like a Werther's original. Mm. It does, doesn't it? I would say if you are a fond of lollipops or suckers as you call them in America, Suckers. definitely get these because what's great about them is they're not too big. Yeah, it's latte like a cold brew. Fro like cold is basically gonna be like a milkshake because yeah, there's so much milk in it. In. With coffee in, yeah. And this is limited edition pumpkin spice. Pumpkin yeah. spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte, which is one the... of the most famous of all the pumpkin spiced editions of anything. What do you think for that? Considering I'm not a coffee fan, it's not bad. Not like that. There's not as much milk in there as I thought. Just, I thought it was going to be really creamy. To me, it just doesn't taste of anything. Mm. Maybe it's because when I have coffee, I have espresso. You have strong. So I like strong coffee. So anything that is this kind of like diluted to me just tastes yeah. like pond water. Mm. I can so see why everyone loves pumpkin spice latte because I like pumpkin spice in other mm. things, just not in the drink. That's probably a one out of 10. <laughs> one out of 10. Yeah, sorry, sadly, that, that's actually a two out of 10. It's better than I thought it's gonna be. I thought we were gonna try Queen Anne. Yeah, let's try those. Which is funny. I know it's only a brand name, but it seems odd hearing the name Queen, Queen Anne, Anne. Because in the UK, we have a Princess Anne. The Princess Royal, the Princess Anne. Yeah. And she's definitely not the Queen. These are Queen Anne Classic Good Taste Cordial Blueberries. And you've got cordial cherries. Look, lift to indulge, isn't that cool? Maybe it's a Christmas thing, but why have we never heard of cherry cordial before today? Know. And now we've seen it on three different things. Oh wow, so these are like little packets. I'm gonna try a cherry one. Do you wanna go halvesies with me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go halvesies with me? Mmm. And it says real fruit, doesn't it? Mmm, it is, it must be. It tastes so good. Wow. I didn't think that'd be a thing I liked. Cream at the bottom. And then a little bit of cherry, and like but a they cherry, just didn't have a cherry, cherry gel. Mm, what is it? Like cherry a, syrup. Yeah, maybe or cordial. Yeah, cordial. I guess. Brooke did include some cherry kisses, Hershey's kisses, mm. but we've already tried them, and they're literally like yeah. those, aren't they? Hershey's kisses have basically made a mini version of that. I'm really excited to try these blueberry ones mm. now because. Carl, you're diving straight in. Well. Is that good? I think you're gonna Better. like that. Better than cherry for me. It's almost that fondant mm. that you get in between cream eggs and our quality stream. Mm. With then a liquid juice on top, mm. which could be the cordial. Mm. Mm, that's amazing. Blueberry one is a nine out of 10. Mm. Cherry one more like seven. I think they're pretty much on par for me. I love Yeah, them but both. you really like cherries mm. though, don't you? We've got a few like sweet biscuit things. Cookies. I think we want to start with ice gingerbread. I think we do like these at the same time. Yeah. So I've got the holiday cookies. How these cute. little Christmas trees. Cheers. Cheers. We've got like sprinkles on. Mm. It's a bit like those other ones we tried. It's a bit like a speculus cookie, mm. but with ginger. Oh, do you know who made these? Who? The Lil Dutch maid. Yeah. Brooke was saying how some of these are traditions. Mm. I feel like that's a tradition. Oh, it's holiday quite traditional, yeah. Yeah, they kind of taste like the Pepperidge Farm ones. Mm. I think I actually prefer the holiday cookie to these gingerbread men. I think I prefer the gingerbread men. Yeah. I do like the gingerbread mm. men. 
Maybe I can put these on my um, gingerbread house as well. So we have two types of pretzels, white fudge covered pretzels. And these are from the snack factory. These are pretzel crisps, dark chocolate and peppermint. Rethink your pretzel. I think these are like a bigger brand, aren't they? Because I've seen these quite a lot. Ooh. We now get some of these in England. These are really flat for a pretzel. Oh wow, well, because they're called crisps, aren't they? And these don't have as much flavoring on as the photos. How interesting. Whoa. We've taken a slice of a pretzel, covered it in chocolate and you know, candy cane bits. I really like these and I'm so glad I tried it. I believe you can get these in milk and dark. Mm. I really like the white fudge. They're good actually, because although these are cool, I think it is just better getting a whole a thickness of pretzel. These just smell strong. I like the dark chocolate and the peppermint on these, but I really like the pretzel texture well, from these. I also think these are cooked differently. I like the idea, but not a fan of dark chocolate and mint. Those flips are delicious. Eight and a half. I didn't think I'd like these because they're covered in that white fudge. Mm. But actually with the pretzel. They're really good. It's very good. Okay, we've got Oreo Thin Bites. I saw these while in New York and I was like, oh, I need to try these. So these are Oreo Thin Bites Fudge mm. Dipped Mint, Mint cream. cream. These are Oreo Thin Bites Fudge Dipped Original. Oreo are just really capitalizing on their popularity, aren't they? What other versions of an Oreo can you make? And they're tiny. How cute. These seem flatter than the mini golden ones. Yeah, definitely. Oh Aren't my they, word. They're just like, how can we sell Oreos how in different versions? How can we just sell versions? more, more, more? If people don't like normal Oreos, what Let's can we do? Let's make them small. Let's, Let's make, make them bigger. Let's make them smaller. Let's cover them and stuff. I think I prefer these if these were Oreo Thin Bites white fudge dipped. I wasn't sure about the white fudge, it's but it's definitely fudge. better than the, the milk chocolate fudge. A lot of you guys out there really like the mint Oreos. And some of you liked our ASMR video. And some of you didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Out of those two, the mint ones are better because I think it masks the flavor of really? the fudge. Well. Should we check out these Ghirardelli's yes. and those lint? I just love these Ziploc bags so yeah. much. They're so small, aren't they? They're, They're so just perfect. Smooth. I actually got a lint advent calendar. Should we start with Ghirardelli? Yeah, why not? What do you reckon? Oh, it's just milk chocolate. Let us know if you like lint down below. I was not expecting it to be white. I was expecting mm. it to be milk chocolate. Is that good? That is good. Because we ever had just Ghirardelli mm -mm. milk. Is that good? We've always had... Um, Caramel or something. Mm -hmm. Ghirardelli was something else. Actually, that's really nice. Me and Alex have recently tried Snickerdoodle for the first time. Mm. Mm. And that kind of cinnamon comes through afterwards. Mm. And I love those lint balls that are like hard on the outside. Mm. And just so silky in the middle. We don't get Snickerdoodle here in the UK. I no, wish we, do we did. Not. What are you giving this? I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine as well. Delicious. I'm probably going to give that a seven and a half. Should we try these peppermint crunch? Yeah. These junior mints. I've probably opened these wrong. There's probably, yes, there is a thing on the side. <laughs> I'll never get used to that. Oh, these are interesting. Look. They okay. just melt in your mouth. Mmm. That's so good. I prefer the peppermint crunch to normal junior mints. Yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Mm. We thought we'd take a break from eating just for a second. Mm -hmm. And we've got Alpine spiced apple cider. These Which come in little sachets. We haven't really tried. Yeah, that was really loud. We haven't we haven't really tried American apple cider yet, have we? No. I'll Who in their one. family love apple cider? I keep wanting to say vinegar. So it's an instant drink mix. Oh, it's rich in vitamin C and 80 calories per pouch. Oh my word, with this you can make an apple pie shake and you can make warm caramel apple drink. How cool. It's nice that they've given you some like ideas there, isn't it? So that'll probably need a little moment to cool down. Yeah. But so it smells we... so good. What do you think? Oh, wow. It smells not like Christmas. Not what I was expecting. It's more like a, a fruit sweet. Do you not mm. think it's like a sweet we've had? What do you reckon? Were this originals? Yeah. So this is... Pumpkin spiced. And these are the harvest caramels. caramels. So these are the soft ones. And the soft caramels. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thought you'd bring in your teeth with it. <laughs> Imagine if I did. <laughs> the texture on that. That's like the center of um, Russell Stover. Mm. Mm. Do Russell Stover bring out pumpkin spice things? Because mm. they should do a pumpkin spice caramel. What I like is it's not too overpowering. Mm. That's a really nice pumpkin spice. The caramel is delicious. The pumpkin is quite light, but the spice is mm. what I'm really enjoying about it. It's like oh, yeah, really it's mainly warming. Spice. But the thing is, it says pumpkin spice, but a lot of the time you don't taste the pumpkin, it's the spice you yeah. taste, isn't it? That caramel is so soft and creamy, just as it says. Mm. Really like those. 
8 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to say 8 out of 10 On well. the caramel theme, shall we try turtles? No, I don't think we've ever actually tried these. No, but we've tried, what are the other ones we've had? Bob frogs. Oh yeah, patch frogs and patch bod frogs. frogs. And box frogs. This is original pecan, milk chocolate with creamy caramel and caramel. premium pecans. Oh wow. I'm just gonna peek in. So they actually come. How funny. Wow. You literally only get two in there. Why don't they just wrap these together yeah. rather than having a big That big is good box though, there. nice little stocking stuffer. Does look a bit like a turtle, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> In America, you mm. say um, caramel, don't you? Mm. Caramel and pecan. Caramel by the sea. Don't you say pecan differently as well? Pecan. Pecan. A pecan! <laughs> pecan. <laughs> I'm a leprechaun. I think pecan is one of my least favorite nuts. Mm. I kind of wish- I wouldn't have said so. Really? No. I think because you can taste a lot of the skin. I mean, caramel's nice and the chocolate's nice, but is there pretzel meant to be in this? I guess this? it can be quite um, bitter. See, I thought pretzel was in this as well. I kind of feel like you should replace the pecans with pretzel. pretzels. Yeah, that would be good. That'd be awesome. But then we're getting into take five territory. Yeah, a bit too close. I do think that's nice. It's just, if that had cashew nuts in or peanuts, I think I'd rather that. Last thing we're going to eat today is Maggie Leon chocolatiers. Yeah. Gummy bells. And these are actually from TJ Maxx. Huh, oh cool. We, we have TK Maxx here, which is the same company. Yeah. And actually, we get some sort of stuff like this, but it's never British, is it? It's no. either American or Germany, places like that. I wonder what flavors these are. I reckon red 40 and green, I reckon no, blue lime. one and yellow five. I reckon either lime and cherry. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Not a flavor. It's just red 40. Mm. Well, that's lime though. Yeah. I love this, I'm gonna use that. All right. Can you taste a bit of cherry? I can't tell if I can or I'm making it up. Mm. Yeah, me too. Very strange. Now, Lisa did provide her own almost quality street roses Ten. tin, <laughs> but I hope um, you'll appreciate and understand that we're gonna save this because we have tried so much. Yeah. And this box is incredible and we're gonna share this with our family. We can probably yeah. open this on Christmas day. She's just packed this full. Is that warm enough yet? This is Russell Stro Stover Strawberry Cream. So good. Oh wow. Look at this, huh? Oh wow, that looks nice. Is that heaven? Do you not like it? No. <laughs> no. Might no, save that bit good. for mum. It's too sick. It's a bit sickly for me. I, I nice. would much prefer their caramel one. It's quite sickly, but if you like the white chocolate and strawberry, Not that's really. awesome. Whereas I do. I'd give that Russell Stover a 10 out of 10, by the way. My word. This tastes like something. I know what it's like. It's like still apple tango warm. Mm. I like apple cider. Now when everyone's having apple cider, I'm gonna be jealous, because before this, I thought it was just warm apple cider is in alcoholic. Mm. That tastes, in Ireland, they have a soft, apple drink called Cydona. Oh really? And that's a bit like that, but warm. I really like that. How many sachets have we got left? Two more. You can enjoy that. I'm enjoying these. Really nice. Good. I've got to give that 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. It's good, I'll probably give it a nine. I wouldn't put it above the Sprite. For a holiday drink. I think oh no, that's above the Sprite. Wow. What a video. Well, that was epic. What a box. Before we thought we'd have the biggest box we've ever had, but I think that was the biggest box. And, and I... what is absolutely amazing is so much of it was original. We'd never seen we'd it before. Never. But like Brooke said, she's watched a lot of our mm. videos and you really have managed to send us stuff we have not tried yeah. yet. Anyway, did you enjoy that? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did really you? enjoyed that. Brooke, I just want to say thank you so much. You have been far too kind. I never expect anyone to send this mm. much stuff to us, yet boxes this size still keep coming yeah. and I can't believe it. So we are so grateful and thankful for all of you that send us candy. Brooke, especially this time, thank you so much. We are going to be sending you a box of British candy, which we hope you enjoy. If anyone else would like to get themselves some British candy, we'll leave a link down below yeah. so you can get some. Oh, I think I'm ready for a nap. I'm ready for, <laughs> I'm I'm ready about for a to sleep. Crash. If my body will let me, it's just full of sugar right now. Just checking, I've still got some abs. Still got it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
sadly, this is our last Christmas candy box opening of the year. So we hope you enjoyed them. If you haven't watched our first three yet, we'll leave a link up there to a playlist. I can't even speak because I've had so much candy now. Subscribe if you enjoy this and we'll see you in the new year. Yeah, we hope you and your families have a wonderful, happy holiday, or as we say in England, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And a happy, happy new, new year. year. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye. See ya.